for those of you who don't know, I found out that I, um, I'm on the autism spectrum, um, and I, I, the more and more I, I research about this, or I hear about it, and I think everybody is, um, and to some, just, because spectrum is zero to 100, you know, it's like all those gradations, and I, I, I saw this video today on, um, like an autism awareness website or something, I don't know. I don't even remember where I saw it originally, but um, I'm, I'm going to post it in the description, the, the Facebook link. I, because I'm not going to technology, I don't know if that's the, the street link to the, the page or whatever. Um, I really, I watched the entire video, um, it started off with like Trump and hate crime type stuff. I was just like, jeez, idiot. I just pissed me off. Him, but I stuck with it and watched it. And the um, the uh, video is produced by um, this uh, British girl named Sarah, um, with blue hair and blue eyes, and oh, gosh, gorgeous. When I saw her, and that's basically what hooked me. <laughs> I'm just kind of probably probably not a good thing that I'm I'm so hooked by aesthetics, but I am. Uh, they, they can catch my attention and hold me. But I watched the entire video and um, come to the end of it and I'm thinking to myself, she looks so normal. And see, okay, th this is probably where some people turn off because it sounds offensive or judgmental or something. But I have been, um, I've written a lot of uh, things. I, I got a couple of books that, uh, actually, the okay, back up, normal, I don't believe there's a normal, I've always been kind of arguing against this normal thing, it's always, it's been a re revolt, I've been revolting against it, you know, because there are stereotypes for different things, and I've always thought, you know, I'm, I'm, like, kind of a nerd, but not totally a nerd, you know, there's not the, not the typical nerd, you know, I don't fit the stereotype, and that's, um, there really is no typical, 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 um, for humans, there's that, that spectrum again, and, um, what we call normal is, like, the middle of the spectrum, but we're all of us there, we're all, so it's like, um, stereotypes can be like a, a box somewhere, and might be, okay, it's like a Venn diagram, how about that, um, where all these stereotype circles overlap, pinpoint what kind of person, so I'm somewhere in the middle of this Venn diagram that can, includes, uh, smart, geek, um, you know, all these different, like, Scary things. Dad. That's gosh. But see, there are different kinds of dads because that is a big circle. And, okay, this might not make any sense. But, okay. Back to. She looks normal. She is normal. We're all normal. We're different normal. Every, every normal is different. And, um,. I've written a book, wrote a book about, uh, called Levels of Geekdom, because, um, well, to me, geek is a good stereotype, but geek's not, I mean, it's different now than it was when I was grown up, even. I'm not the typical, typical air quote, typical, quote, I'm doing typical geek in that, uh, <sighs> When I brought this writing, when I, I wrote this and I, I submitted um, the first part of it, part of the writing to um, my critique group, and um, the group said there's a difference between, uh, you know, geeks and nerds and all these different things that mean they they, took, they made it sound like there there are boxes, and see geeks are more. Um, 
cultural music, movies, TV shows, you know, cartoons, books, you know, they're, they hone in on something like that. So that's a geek. And um, a nerd is someone who's intelligence about a subject. You, they learn everything they can about a subject, you know, and um, so there, there is kind of a specification. So among the geeks, now among the geeks, there are geeks. And there, I'm an outsider among outsiders, loser among losers. So it's like there's all these different divisions, and um, the critique group. Um, one person said it, and like everybody else, second did, third did, fourth did, whatever. Uh, that I need to get tested. And that's kind of why I know that I'm on this spectrum. Because they said, you need to test it. So I finally did. I went to my therapist. And my therapist and I went over a test. And she said, you are really high on the spectrum. If this had been known when you were younger, you would have been raised as Asperger's. Um, so I, I've been sort of looking up research and what that means and what it really means is nothing. I mean, because we're all on that spectrum. That's what I'm finding. I mean, some people, when, when you're high on the spectrum, yeah, maybe you're poor communications and, uh, you get distracted easily and you focus in on one thing and, or it might mean that you do that, you you stem. You've got physical twitches and, and tells. And, and yeah, I mean, it could mean lots of different things. So it, that, it means so many things that it doesn't mean anything. That doesn't make sense, I guess, to some people. But to me, it does. In, in my head, it makes sense. That if you mean it means everything, then it means nothing at the same time. So, bottom line of this vlog is that uh, we're all normal, we're all typical, but we're not at the same time. So, it's like, to in order to um, call somebody normal, you've got to define the parameters. In order to call them typical, you've got to tell what the box is that they're the typical people fit in. And... Um, since those boxes are so vague, I will say there is no box. We're um, we're all normal. We're all typical, and there isn't no one. There isn't typical. I mean, it's very fluid, very fluid living, life, fishness.